When learning to program, most of your applications will start out relatively simply. In the case of c -sharp applications, you might just simply have the main function within the program class, and that'll be it. But as you start to progress into more complex applications, you're going to want to take a look at how you can perform a divide-and-conquer functionality. As you start creating more complex applications, that complexity can start to be very difficult to maintain and think about and ensure that your application will work the way you expect it to. As a result, what you'll want to do is start thinking about how you can break up the application into discrete pieces of functionality. Not only is it important to break it up from the perspective of reducing the complexity in your mind as you create it, but once the application has been developed and you're starting to test it, if you have large monolithic pieces of functionality in one method or within one function, it's going to become extremely difficult to debug any errors or problems with that application. C Sharp has another language element known as functions. Functions allow you to break up your code functionality or your code organization, if you will, into discrete pieces, and this is what functions do. So if we take a look at functions within the C Sharp language, functions are considered to be discrete pieces of functionality within your code. Now each function that you create should focus on a single task, partly to make debugging easier, but mostly so that you can concentrate on what that functionality is intended to do. As an example, you might create a function that is designed to calculate somebody's age. You might call it calculate age. And within that function, that's all you want to do is take an input, could be today's date and the person's birth date, and perform the calculation to determine how old that person is. That's all that function should focus on, and that's all that function should do. Functions within C Sharp, like any other programming language, can return values or they can not return values. And how you work with those specifically will be determined by keywords or specific key phrases. So let's step out to Visual Studio and have a look at how functions are written within C Sharp.